they came from the Seychelles and the UK to witness this historic moment. After a lengthy investigation, Human Rights Watch found Britain and the US committed crimes against humanity when chasing the people of Chagos from their homeland more than 50 years ago. Elian was one of the last Chagosians to leave the island in 1973. I would be happy to see the British and American governments take responsibility. I would have liked it to happen sooner. We would like to return to our island. A small archipelago at the heart of the Indian Ocean, the Chagos Islands fell under the rule of the British colonial empire during the 18th century. In the 1960s, authorities began deporting native populations to make way for a U.S. Navy base on Diego Garcia. In total, around 1,500 people were forcibly removed from their homes. Both governments committed crimes against humanity against the Chagosian people. They did so by forcibly displacing them away from the archipelago, by abandoning them in Mauritius and the Seychelles. For these Chagosians, the Human Rights Watch report vindicates a decades-long struggle for justice. Many now hope the findings can help them in their quest to return home. It's time to have a reparation. A reparation is time of money, a reparation of uh, just rebuild something and allow people to resettle. It was a good job. In 2016, the British government acknowledged wrongdoing in its handling of the Chagos Islands. It granted automatic citizenship to Chagosian descendants living in the UK, but refused them the right to return to their homeland, citing security reasons. <laughs>